Hi, good evening. Uh, this is your friend Han here, and it is great to see you here tonight. And uh, uh, tonight was something very exciting for SEO friends and video marketing friends. And uh, it is about a product called the URL Shotgun. Okay, you can see over here. Um, it is a new way that Anthony Aries find out how to rank uh, videos uh, without doing much more work at all, and just by turning one link into multiple, like thirty or sixty different links by using short URLs and this software just um, exactly accomplished that not only in, he used it for ranking videos and his partner named Mark also using this tool uh, he has to build this tool for himself but he decided to uh, go public with it um, for different uses of it okay that's based on building traffic and ranking to your site so I'm gonna kind of just leave on that note um, please enjoy the interview and watching the demo read video right after uh, the interview as always and this is the first time oops I dropped my pen ooh, ooh. anyway uh, and this is the very first time that um, I'm actually doing a interview right on Google Hangout that's another reason you need to watch it and it's gonna be totally entertaining okay all right so you tell me uh, if I did a good job or did a terrible job with it okay all right, so enjoy the interview for now and stay tuned watching the uh, <clears throat> demo video so you know exactly how cool this thing is. So it really is, all right? So uh, this is your friend Han, and uh, until next time, keep smiling. May love and peace always be with you, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and this is your friend Han again, and it is great to see you here. And this is my actually the first Google Hangout I'm doing, and uh, very, very excited today. I have Anthony Ayers with us and... Mark with us. Uh, we're gonna share some awesome, awesome, a cool tool. So if you are into SEO, if you're into uh, rank your site, your videos, you want you want to kind of check it out. What we have to say here, and uh, um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, at the end of this interview, we're gonna introduce to you uh, to this tool and and uh, talk about some of the results we're getting. Fantastic results, um, Anthony and his partner are getting here. Um, so uh, before we get into uh, this. Um, Let's kind of learn how Anthony got started with internet marketing and what exactly uh, he do uh, to achieve a level of success. He has them. We kind of turn a you know, table to Mark as well. So, um, Anthony, will you take over the mic and then share your internet marketing story? With Absolutely. I don't want to spend a lot of time because it's a long-winded story. As you know, and Ben, you've interviewed me before. I'm going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Yes. Essentially... Internet marketing came into my life in 2002 when I started my real estate company. I needed a way to generate leads for my business in a very cost-effective way. I could not afford to do print advertising, and getting on the first page of Google at the time was the only way that I saw, or the search engines, because it was Yahoo was the big one, MSN, and then Google had kind of come onto the scene. So I, I knew that there were people searching for Boston real estate, and I, and I knew that I had to get on the first page of Google. And I essentially went to Barnes and Noble and bought a book on how to do it called Search Engine Positioning from a guy named Fred Marchini. And it was a book like the size of a phone book. Locked myself in my apartment the winter of 2002. And by April, spring of 2003, I had 37 websites ranking on the first page of Google for all the major keywords in Boston. And uh, literally my business exploded. And I was able to ride the real estate market from 2003 to 2007. I made millions of dollars in commission. Had a successful brokerage in Boston. Had another. I built another successful brokerage in Orlando, Florida. Things were great. Uh, 2007, the market collapsed. I lost millions of dollars in real estate because I basically invested all the money that I had made into real estate. I believed in what I was selling. I believed in the story. I lost my butt, and I was in a situation where I had to reinvent myself. And um, I had been intrigued by information marketing because I had learned about it through SEOing my business. You know, I got into the internet marketing funnel through Andy Jenkins and, and Brad Fallon, and I learned about information marketing. And I saw the opportunity to create my first info product, which I did in 2007. And it was an info product that taught real estate agents how to work with the banks and represent the banks to sell all of the bank foreclosures. And that it was called REO Kit. It was a ClickBank product. The product totally took off and became very successful. And I learned more about internet marketing. I learned how to build lists. I learned how to communicate with my lists. I had learned SEO and pay-per-click 
when I was trying to drive leads for my real estate business. So I had that part figured out, but I needed to learn the other part, how to communicate with my lists and how to sell better through the internet and how to get people to whip out their credit cards. And basically did that from 2007 to 2011. I sold the REO kit to my best student, a guy named Rob Christian. He bought the REO kit from me. He bought the rights to the product. He bought the list. He bought everything. And at that point, I wanted to focus on internet marketing and teaching people how to have success online like I had. And uh, video was, was something that had helped catapult my success even further, video SEO, that is, and uh, learning how to make videos that sell and, you know, becoming like the, the, the woolly maze of, of, of internet marketing. And, uh, and so that's what I did. I focused on, on that and, and been teaching other people how to have success with video. I mean, it's, it's going to be a big part of the internet from here on out. It, over 60% of the internet traffic in 2016 is going to be from videos, and that the, that information doesn't come from me. That's from Cisco Networks, and so that's what I'm focused on. I'm focused on helping people with video, and I'm focused on getting on the first page of Google with video, and getting videos to go viral, and getting more people to buy through videos that I make. So that's a little bit about me. Hopefully, that was good and short and sweet. <laughs> okay. All right, Greg. Thank you, Anthony. Woo! I need to take a breath. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> I pushed the button by accident twice. Whoops. All right, man. All right. All Mark, right. you're up. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Mark, I want to kind of share how did you get a start with internet marketing and, uh, uh, you know, maybe talk about some of the roadblocks you had and how do you, uh, you had it and how do you overcome it and, and uh, most importantly, what did you do exactly uh, to achieve the level of success you have today? Hey guys, uh, so real quick, uh, I don't know if I have as many uh, twists and turns as Anthony does in his story, um, but you know, essentially I come from a corporate background uh, and I started out in online marketing, not really internet marketing, uh, back in 98 uh, and uh, my family and I started a uh, company selling watches online, uh, name brand watches, and we took it to the number two slot, our number one competitor, uh, never had a profitable quarter. They were the typical dot-com, but we were profitable from the first six months, uh, and we grew it to about a $15 million business. We sold it after the dot-com crash uh, and uh, did pretty well on it. I stayed with that company for a number of years after uh, and uh, also have helped a bunch of friends get started in, in the industry of online marketing, selling things on the Internet uh, more more physical products than anything else. Uh, the way that I got started in internet marketing was back in 2001, I actually started the affiliate program uh, for the company that had acquired my watch company, which was Diamond.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we had also at that time acquired my largest competitor, uh, Ashford.com, which had an active affiliate program. And we started it and quickly became uh, the most profitable aspect of our marketing. Uh, you know, from from compared with the AOL ads, the MSN, and, you know, the very beginnings of pay per clicks with Google. So I started seeing what affiliate marketers were doing and how they were making money selling my products. Right. Uh, and and oftentimes I said, how did these guys outrank me? Uh, you know, what is it that they're doing? And so I started looking into it, and I've been sitting here on the fringes for many years, and. You know, every so often I get involved and, and I work with somebody on a product. Uh, what happened this time around is I was on the phone with Brad Goss and we were talking about URL sh shorteners. Uh -huh. And uh, we came up with an idea uh, for a product that could help you essentially take the single link and blast it out because I was using multiple social personas online selling products, uh, each of them with a different personality and a different target audience. Uh, so like multiple Twitter accounts, for example, right? Actually, uh, each account, each uh, persona, each person had a Facebook account, had a Google Plus account, had a Twitter account, had a LinkedIn account. Uh, and what I was doing was I was doing promotions, essentially the same links, uh, but I'd use a URL shortener to change them up. So that way I could have my virtual assistant go ahead and uh, take a different link for the same offer and put it across all these different personas and different networks. So, um, 
we ended up coming up with a shortcut, a way to do this without having to go back and forth. Uh, and that's kind of how we created URL Shotgun. Uh, now, conversations with other marketers have led to some of the add-ons, like the ad-supported shorteners. Um, so it's uh, it's pretty exciting. And then I got uh, partnered up with Anthony, and and my gosh, the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping, we're hoping, we're hoping to make oh, yeah. bigger history on Friday, Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> So, Anthony, uh, and, and he, both of you and I are doing a lot of video marketing, and, and we, we yes. love doing that. So, let's talk about what is it is has anything changed as far as ranking the video in the last, let's say, six or six months, or in, yes. the, in the uh, as far as ranking video goes? And if so, could you share some of the ranking tips with us? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It, it's absolutely changed. Uh, <laughs> I just ran a big test with the Video Genesis launch, and um, I wanted to get in there, and I, I wanted to wait until the very last day to uh, go in there and try to rank. I, everyone had already done all their campaigns, and I basically went in on launch day, and I tried to get in there and rank, and uh, I was able to do it within four hours. I was able to get on the first page for Video Genesis bonus which is a big keyword when you're doing launch jacking. And uh, I was there the whole day. On the first day, I was number one the whole day. And uh, I ended up generating $400 in commissions from doing that. Uh -huh. um, however, what happened was I got a little bit greedy, and I kept hitting my video with links, and I kept hitting all the other videos with links that I had uh, linked to the video, and I ended up getting slammed by Google. I think I'm on the second or third page now. So what I'm seeing now is it's not about the number of links. It's about the strategy of the links. It's, it's, you have to be very strategic with your links, and you have to diversify your links. Okay. It can't be like, for example, it can't be the same YouTube link. Like, it's better to take, you know, you get one link from YouTube. You can actually create six links from it. So you can do, like, YouTube.com and then, you know, the, the forward slash, the numbers, and then a forward slash. And then you can do youtube.com forward slash the numbers without the forward slash. And then you can do the www and then the www with the slash at the end. And then they also give you a shortened one too. So you can actually create six links from one YouTube link. And then what, what I did was you take those six links and you run them through a URL shotgun and you get, I got like 200 links out of it. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you just take those links and you go and strategically post them in good, you know, you do social bookmarks the right way and you do blog commenting the right way. The thing is I went a little bit nuts. I did like 40,000 blog comments to my Anthony Aries channel. I went a little too crazy. I was just testing some stuff out uh, and I, I basically scorched, I scorched my rankings. But it, it's okay. That's just how it is, right? I made money on the first day. It's really the most important day of the launch is when it opens. I was there the whole first day for the first 24 hours and I made... I uh, made four. I made three, a little over three hundred dollars in commissions. I don't know the exact amount. Was, I think three seventy or something. Um, so I, I'm happy with that. And you know, you have to test. So you have to test and see how Google is reacting. The the way it works now is it's more about the diversity of the links, and that's what's great about URL Shotgun. Is you know the natural way of sharing links on the internet. If you think about it, it's with URL shorteners, right? People right. go on Twitter and they shorten a link. And then they post that shortened link on Twitter. They post that shortened link on Facebook. So it's a great way to share, like post your links and make it look like it's getting socially shared. And it doesn't look like it's all coming from the same place. Uh, so that's what's great about URL Shotgun. And you just have to be really careful. You don't need a lot of links anymore. Like it just, It's more about how strategic you are with your links. So you just need to be careful with, you know, you don't need, what I tell, what I do now when I build links is I don't, I used to just go crazy and blast a bunch of links. What the way to do it now is just go slow and steady because you'll find that you don't need a lot of links to rank. Google is looking for, you know, and, and the amount of links have to match your views. Like if you've got like 2,000 backlinks and you've only got 100 views, that doesn't make any sense, mm -hmm. right? Like if you think about it, you've got to have the same amount of views that you do links or maybe even a little more views than you do links. You've got to have likes on your video. You've got to have comments on your video. Uh, these are all things that are really important. And when I did that campaign, I kind of just went a little bit nuts because I was under the gun and I wanted to test some stuff out. Uh, but I'm going to actually, today is Wednesday, 
Uh, before I go to bed tonight, I'm actually going to shoot some more Video Genesis videos. I have to shoot all the review videos. I haven't gone in and done the review videos for the inside. But I'm going to go in and do the review videos, and I'm going to try to rank in the next 48 hours for Video Genesis Review, Video Genesis Bonus, and I'm actually going to go slow and steady. I'm not going to go crazy with the links. I'm going to use URL Shotgun to create diversity to the links, and I'm just going to strategically post my URL Shotgun links in you know, very uh, specific Twitter profiles, I'm going to do it on very specific Facebook profiles. I'm going to basically look for people on Fiverr that are authorities in Facebook and Twitter, and I'm going to have them share my URL shotgun links. And I should be able to rank within 48 hours. It shouldn't be a problem. So it's just you know about being real strategic. You don't have to go crazy. It's actually minimum effective dose is what it's about. Less is more. That's what, that's what Google is looking for. Less is more. So I hope yeah. that helps. Yeah, that's what I've been seeing as well. Like, uh, if you can get a more relevant links and all that stuff, you actually don't don't take that much to rank yeah. it. Yeah. Nope. nope. Yeah. And 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 let me ask you one, uh, both of you, this question. If uh, I don't know who I know the answer. Now, some of the re shorteners, uh, you know, allow you to pass the link juice to it. Some of the shortener doesn't. So, does that even matter, or you need a mix up of both? <clears throat> Mark, take that one. Well, I'd, I'd say that, again, link diversity. So uh, as far as which ones do pass link juice and which ones don't, it's very rare for any of them to uh, have something in place so that they don't pass it. Uh, Matt Cutts has a video on it that, that you know, uh, good, they do pass link juice. Uh, I, I think there's only one or two that still exist that, that have something set up so that they don't. Um, okay. Okay. So it's, it's it's not a major issue with the shorteners as far as passing link juice, but okay. again, like Anthony was saying, it's all about diversity. It's all about using different ones in different places, yeah. uh, and and not using the same Bitly link over and over and over and over right. again. All right. If all your links are do follow, if all your links back to your campaign are do follow, <coughs> that doesn't look natural. That's not natural. Right. right, like it doesn't. It's got to be mixed up. Like right. that's what they want. Like it's more about like natural behavior is what they're looking at, and it's just becoming more. It's even like if you think about it, even with uh, regular websites, like if you've got a website and it doesn't have, if it's got a lot of backlinks and your site doesn't have like a lot of likes or a lot of tweets or or. Um, it, you know, it's not getting shared on the internet a lot, like naturally. They, they they're able to tell all that stuff, you know. So it's even it's even happening not just on the videos. It's also happening on websites too. Like it's all going to kind of line up, you know. If you're getting if you're getting all of a sudden like a thousand backlinks to a site, but you're not getting any likes, and you know it's not getting tweeted anywhere, something's not right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's like an alarm you're kind of raising for yourself. Yes. Yep. And, and so, what other ways uh, you can use um, different type shortener using this kind of math and technique? What, what other, other than videos, what other things is good for? <clears throat> uh, who's who's going to take that one? <laughs> you want to take that one, Mark, or you want me to take it? <laughs> um, I'm happy to take it. Um, you know, I. This tools besides video because really Anthony's the one that's used this on video. Uh -huh. I've used this in social media, um, and like I said before, uh, I have multiple sites that have multiple personas behind them, uh, and I don't want to have to find a different promotion for every single site that I have. Uh, and I like to be able to test these things out, so I'll take one and I'll make 20, 30 variations of the same exact link. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't have to have different affiliate links for everything. Uh, I can just test one offer between all these different networks and all these different places. Um, I know shorteners are also uh, very popular in uh, in blog commenting and forum posting. Um, you know, I, I know that's a that's a common place for them. Um, and I also, as far as building backlinks, you know, going ahead and taking these and and like Anthony shows you in one of his videos. Uh, pushing these through some of the ping sites, uh, and that way you can create so many different variations of the same one. Uh, it, it's it's really taking the effort that you would be doing normally, uh, and maybe even passing off to your virtual assistant, and and saying, hey, let me optimize this. Let me take this and run it 40 times over, uh, but doing it all in the same day in the same shot. It makes yeah. things a lot easier. 
Yeah, like um, I used to do. Um, I actually used to do really well using Twitter to promote launches. This is like, man, this is when you were, I think, back in the real estate days in 2000 and um, 2009. I actually crushed. I, I crushed the Ryan Dice launch. I think it was uh, the Let's Get Social launch, where I just did the whole thing on Twitter. Oh wow! And it got to a point where they ended up banning my account because I kept using the same affiliate link across different Twitter profiles. Mm -hmm. And so that's what Mark is talking about. Like, if you've got five different Twitter profiles and you use the same affiliate link, they're going to be like, "Whoa, this is the same person." So when you use a URL shortener, they don't know that it's the same affiliate link. So you can take that one affiliate link, drop it in URL shotgun instead of having to go to five different places to get five different, you know, fill out five different URL shortener forms. You just pop it into URL shotgun, and it spits out a whole bunch of different. Uh, shortened URLs, and you can just copy and paste them. That's that's like how Mark's talking about using it because, you know, if they see the same affiliate link, like if Facebook sees the same affiliate link on five different Facebook accounts, something's not right, and they'll go and shut down your all the different personas that you have. So this yeah. protects that hard work that you've done. Right, and I also liked being able to use some of the personas that I had in these social media sites to actually push links. To, to a money site, to a special offer, um, and I don't want it to seem like I'm the same guy, you know, using right, right. eight different locations to point to this one. Uh, yep. Google's going to see that pretty quickly. Yep. Not that I'm going to spend my lifetime trying to trick Google, but at least I'm going to cloak things a little bit. CYA, we call it. Well, shit, man. The, you know, this is bullshit how they're trying to just cut affiliates out so that they can be the number one affiliate. Yeah, let's just kill all affiliates so that we can run all the affiliate traffic on our search engine and not give anybody else a chance to make any money. Screw you, man. I want to play below the belt if they're going to play below the belt. That's how I feel about it, you know. Yeah. And if you if you got to do shit like this to, you know, put food on the table, then hey, man, I'm going to do it. They got no problem. Google is not a let's hold hands and be friendly company and sing kumbaya. Absolutely not, man. Google is vicious, and they're willing to cut. You know they're willing to cut us out as fast as possible, and I don't know, man. I've, I'll do whatever it takes to, you know, fight back and, you know, make money. And if I've got to do stuff like this, then I'm going to do stuff like this. You know, not that this is black hat or anything. It's just that, you know, you have to do what you have to do to make money. They've got no problem cutting us out. They've got no problem taking us off their search engine. Well, then I got no problem, you know, cloaking my links and setting up different personas and. You know, doing what I have to take to drive traffic to an offer. Yeah, you well, know? I mean, this is just this is just common marketing. I mean, we're not we're not doing anything black hat here, which is not to say that uh, you know URL shorteners are not used by black hatters because they love this stuff. Uh, but generally, when they're doing something, you should look at it. It's sort of like uh, Brad Goss and porn. You know, when you the porn guys do all the innovative stuff online first, so yep. you you look at what they're doing and try to learn from it. Uh, getting back to the whole thing on Google, one shortener you'll never see inside URL Shotgun is goo.gl. <laughs> <laughs> never. Love you, Google. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's talk about some of the. Um, uh, what what kind of results can you um, either either to ranking, either to tracking, either to um, you know, look at the link. What kind of um, results are you guys getting from by using uh, the short uh, shotgun? I'm sorry, shotgun um, uh, software. And um, uh, how much time and, and the money has has kind of typically saved you by using this? I did a really slow and steady campaign uh, for the keyword uh, "best Orlando barber," and then I got on the first page with that one within 48 hours. And if you Google it, it's still there because I, I did that one slow and steady, "best Orlando barber." So I did that with a local one. So if you're a local marketer and you're trying to help a local business get rankings with a video, uh, this works great. I basically took the YouTube URL, I put it in URL Shotgun, I got all the different URL shortened links. I went and did a very, very light social bookmarking campaign to all the URLs that I got from URL Shotgun. I just did a very light campaign. I didn't go crazy, and it worked brilliantly. Within 48 hours, I was on the first page for... Uh, best Orlando Barber. I'm on page two for Orlando Barber. 
Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to get on the first page for Orlando Barber because there's a lot of Yelp listings and there's a lot of Google Places. Um, I would have to do some additional work to it. But without doing anything besides URL shotgun, I was able to get – I'm the first video on the second page. So, again, I didn't do a lot of work to it. And um, I did – I think they – I don't want to see the 24, 24 hours. Was that, Mark, was that one 24 hours or 48 hours, the Orlando Barber Which one? one? Orlando Barber? Yeah, that one was – I think that one was 24. That one was 24, okay. And best Orlando Barber was 48. Right, right, right. Cool. So – that's how I use it. I use it on a local campaign. Now, again, I went a little bit. I had more time to do that one, so I went slow and steady. The video genesis one, I like, you know, had to do it fast, so I kind of went a little bit faster and harder than I should have done. So today, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna later today, I'm gonna launch some new videos. And I'm gonna go slow and steady with those. I should be able to rank pretty easily. Now, I got a one one kind of question here. Are people click click? Uh... Clicking on those short uh, short links are they kind of enticing to to say hey, what the heck this is and other do you see any difference uh, as far as a click through rate is either went up or went down or it was and has you know not no effect whatsoever. In you my know, experience, I, I, it's gone up. Yeah, I, I I don't know in my experience because I use them I didn't use them for click throughs I use them for to rank. Okay, okay. So and, and Mark, you were saying that you seen you seen some uh, uh, well. I mean, you know, it's like the difference when you post something on Facebook and it's like this three sentence long link uh, versus something that's like that's like eh, this big. I, you know, people click on it, and Twitter has trained us to to trust shortened links. There was a time yep. that people didn't trust them. There yep. was a time that there was a lot of spam out there. Uh, that time's gone. Those link services are dead, and uh, you know, it's it's a trusted service. So when I post stuff in social media. They click on it because it's a shortened link. It's something that I have enough room to say what I want to say, and also I have the link in there. Uh, and uh, it's something that works, uh, you know. And you also, just by looking at the entire industry of ad-supported shorteners, uh, which is a feature that we added on kind of last minute, um, you know, there's an entire industry of people who make money posting links using shortened links that that pass you through an ad, and they make commissions from that. They make good money from that. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's something we threw in there because it was like, hey, there's people using this just to make money from the actual shortener. So uh, people like it. So AdFly is a good example of that. Sure, uh, AdFly and AdFocus. That's yeah. probably the most popular one. So like, if you post an AdFly link on Facebook and someone clicks that link, you're going to make a commission from AdFly oh. for using their right. shortened link. Oh, great. That's, a, that's a, another extra leveraging you have there. I mean, yep. you're the work, and yep. especially with the software, going to make it a whole lot easier. <clears throat> yep. All right, so uh, Mark, uh, can you um, can you kind of share, like, why did you create this software, and how did you um, come up with the idea and, and, and the need of the marketplace? Um, why did you create it? Kind of tell, you know, give a little bit background story. How did you uh, get this developed here? Well, again, one of the things that I had going on was I was using multiple personalities, uh, multiple social accounts to do promotions, uh, and uh, for all the different websites that I had out there, all these different niche websites, I had a couple of VAs working for me, and I had one that was essentially a full-time busy work person, somebody who really didn't understand most of the stuff that, that they were doing for me, but it was so basic, it was so repetitive, it was so over and over, it didn't really matter so much. Uh, and I really wanted to train this person because they were really smart. Uh, they just, you know, you find those VAs every so often that are, that are, that are really hidden gems. Uh, and unfortunately, the amount of work that they had to do for me, she had to do for me, uh, because of posting all these links all over the place, um, using different shorteners over and over and over. I actually, yeah, I, I built the tool for my VA, and uh, she was pretty happy when, when I said, okay, I, I, I'm going to come up with a way. <laughs> I'm going to come wow. up with a way for you to, to do this. Now, this person actually uh, does an entirely different service for me now, and 
doesn't do this this repetitive over and over and absolutely annoying stuff. I, I've trained this person to do a lot more. They're a lot more effective, and I'm not wasting money. So I'm I'm happy with it. Now, when I, I started showing other people like Anthony, I started learning other ways to use the software, which was surprising even to me because it was created for a single purpose. And then when you, you, you go and you meet a video guy who wants to use it to rank, who says, hey, watch this. I'm going to use it this quick. It was, well, maybe this should be something that we should put on the market as opposed to just being a, <laughs> as opposed to just being a private tool. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to bang your phone using that uh, uh, um on the <laughs> anyway, anyway pattern interrupts brother pattern interrupts yeah you, you interrupt them to get way too excited anyway so um so let's talk about how is how is this tool um different than the existing you know um similar tool that does this what why is why is anybody need to get this one and if 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 it, let's say you have some other two does pretty much similar thing, how does this thing stands out from the other person that it does? It does not, uh, um, you know, work for the other one yet. <clears throat> I, I love this question. You yes. know why, right, Anthony? There is no other tool. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, there isn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not, and that's one of the reasons why we built it. You can you can take forty links and okay. go to one of these individual shorteners and create 40 variations of those 40 links. You can't take one and create <laughs> 40 variations of one. And there's nobody that, that, that's built something, for whatever reason, nobody's built something that takes 30, 40 different short, shortening services and lets you vary it up. It's, again, like Anthony was saying in the beginning, it's about the, the diversification. You know, it's one thing to be able to go through and use Bitly or to be able to go ahead and use... Uh, God forbid the Google URL shortener, um, but you know this is a way to actually not depend upon any one of them, not to give any one of them your information to be able to be spread all the way across. Uh, so, what are other people doing that are similar to this? We actually have a unique product. <laughs> Go figure awesome. it out. Anthony. Awesome! Awesome! That's Anthony, why I'm... hit a button. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit one right now. Um... When are you supposed to hit it? You don't hit it. All right, let's doubt. <laughs> My bad. He, he, My timing is terrible. Yes, he get to wear the sunglasses, but he doesn't do it. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's kind of just kind of uh, dive into this product a little bit. Let's talk about um, the product name and talk about the uh, launching time and what exactly are they really getting uh, in the uh, front end offer. And the list is is on Diamond Cell, or how long that's going to keep opening, and what price is going to starting at? So we uh the 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 URL shotgun launches on Friday, July nineteenth at eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we may do a little early bird, but it's just for us to test out the page and making sure everything is okay. It's not it's not going to be for any other reason than that. And if we do, we're going to let you know everybody know that we're live early. Okay. Um, so we we don't want to send a bunch of traffic, and then it collapses. We want to make sure that like you know that everything, all the pages and everything are working. Just you know we'll go a few minutes before we go live. Um, it's going to start at twenty seven dollars, and it's going to dime sale up to forty seven dollars. Um, and uh, we're doing a, a very special. We're doing some very special bonuses. Uh, the first of them, I'm going to give away uh, the blueprint of how I was able to rank for the Video Genesis uh, launch. You'll get step by step what I did to get on the first page within four hours for that launch. Uh, and you're also going to get enterprise corporate uh, license for URL Shotgun, which means you can install it on your computer, you can give it to your VAs to install it on their computer, and you know you don't have to pay for any extra licenses. So that's all included. Yeah, it's all included in the front end. Uh, and then the upsell is a product called URL Revolver. I'll let Mark talk a little bit about URL Revolver because that's his brainchild too. Um, okay, so again, going back to being able to create the link diversity, one of the things that you do use URL shorteners for is A-B and split testing. Somebody's ringing. Um, you, you can use it for split testing. So uh, go ahead and post three different links to the same place 
uh, a third of the time, a third of the time, a third of the time to see which one converts the best. Yep. Uh, so what we've done is we have a WordPress plugin called URL Revolver. Uh, you can take three different links, have them post to the same page or the same post within your blog uh, and rotate it. You can also take things uh, to the next level. Take the results that you have from URL Shotgun, the 30, the 40, the 45, 50, however many different variations you created of the same URL. Go ahead and take that list, plug it into URL Revolver. Now in your WordPress blog, you're automatically going to rotate between all these links. And, and now you're also showing a uh, very diversified outbound link strategy, which is also something that Google wants. Google doesn't want you to be an all-in blog, an all-in site. Uh, sites naturally link out. Sites naturally shoot to other places. Now, are you always shooting out to uh, promotion? Well, no. You're actually going to be rotating between all these different shortened links. They may all go to the same place, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that's awesome stuff. Um, and uh, uh, is, um, is there any other bonuses or just is, um, um, about it? Or... Uh, no, no, those are the those are the two bonuses. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. And the. No, we we also are going to be doing, Han. We're actually also doing a virtual high five. Virtual high fives. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I'm, I missed it though. I don't know anybody can see that because you know. Anyway. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna blow his headphones out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, all right, guys, let's get serious now. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm I'm looking uh, really forward to to uh, use this uh plugging um, I mean software myself, and and really it is it is a desktop Adobe Era app. And yeah, it runs on well. PC and it runs on Mac. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's that's. That's super great. easy to install. You don't need like a 50-page manual. You like have it running on your computer within a few minutes, and you'll be getting uh, shotgun links within seconds. It's like so easy to install. You don't need like this long manual. Like you put it on your computer, boom, you're off and running. You don't have to install anything crazy yeah. to make it work. Keep awesome. it simple. Yep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So uh, for those who are still watching this, uh, make sure you kind of uh, stay tuned a little bit and watch a uh, short demo video. Um, we'll have ready for you so you know how, how exactly is, how easy this thing is and how it's really going to benefit you. And uh, Anthony and um, Mark, and thank you so much for taking your time with us. Um, I think I got all the questions I need to ask you here. Uh, before we leave here, do you all have any final words or uh, final words of wisdom like shit with us? No, thank you so much for having us, man. I appreciate yeah. you having us on the Hand Fan Show. Thank yeah. you very much. We appreciate your time, Han, and uh, hope you enjoy it. See my wife walking in. Say hi. Yep. Hi. She's on the Hand <laughs> Fan Show now. This is She's the on hand the Hand Fan Show. She's on the Hand Fan Show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome. All right, thank you, guys, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. Talk to you later, brother. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. Hello there, this is Anthony Aries, and I want to do a quick little demo for you for URL Shotgun. What I did here is I created this video for my barber because uh, we did a deal where uh, I help him with his video marketing and he's going to uh, give me haircuts for life. And so um, what I wanted to do is get this video to rank on the first page of Google for Best Orlando Barber. Now, uh, I took the YouTube URL that YouTube gives me and I came over here to a text file and I created six different URLs. Now this is the same, goes back to the same video, but I just created some variation in my URLs. The reason I did this is because Google wants massive diversification and they want your links to look natural. Now when people are sharing links on the on the internet, they do it in all kinds of different ways. Nothing is always coming back to the same link. So if you notice, I've got the www over here without the slash, then I have it with the slash, then I have it without www, without a slash, with a slash, and then I have the shortened URL that YouTube gives you over here that you can get right there. And make note that you can't put the www in front of these, it doesn't work. So I basically created six different URLs from YouTube's one URL. And then what I do is I just take these URLs 
and I put them into URL shotgun. Just put them right over here, and paste, and select all, and boom, URL shotgun spits out all these different shortened URLs. And then I just copy them over here, and then I just basically paste them into this text file. And I'll do that with the next one, and I'll create even more shortened URLs. Now the reason I'm doing this is because you know people use shortened URLs across Twitter, across Facebook. So th these are really natural looking shares that are coming back to my video. So I'm just going to take that again and then copy it. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to just keep doing that till I do it with all six. That's going to give me a couple hundred links. I would then just take these links and I'd come over here to this Fiverr gig where this guy is going to build 1500 do follow blog comment backlinks. And what he's going to do is he's going to put all of these shortened URLs on all these different blogs. That's going to look super natural and it's going to give me great link juice over to my video. And this is a great gig. I've used this before and I highly recommend it. He lets you put unlimited URLs. And so get that out, $5. Now, if you're wondering, does the link juice for URL shorteners pass the link juice? Absolutely. If you Google Matt Cutts URL shorteners, you'll see this video from him right there. And he responds to the question that, yes, the link juice does pass from the URL shorteners. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating natural social looking backlinks from all these different places coming back to our video. Now, how did this work on Google? If you Google Best Orlando Barber, you will see that we are ranking right there on the first page for Best Orlando Barber. As you can see, URL Shotgun is an unbelievable desktop software that can help you build the ultimate diversity for your backlinks, protecting you from that pesky penguin. It can also protect all of your various social media profiles when you're dropping affiliate links all over the internet. You'll be able to save time and money with URL Shotgun. There's way more benefits that I'm able to list on this video, as you can see on the URL Shotgun sales page. Yours for prosperity. We look forward to seeing you on the inside. Anthony Aries. Hey Anthony, it's Frank Schwartz and I wanted to shoot you a video um, doing the same thing that you did, basically a test to see about getting on page one. Now what I did was I thought about what could I use, what could I put up, of course looked at uh, Phoenix SEO companies and as you can see from page one, no videos, no nothing, but I really didn't want to do a whole lot. And here we go. Today is, I'm in Cleveland, 1034 p.m., July 11th, Thursday night. Okay, see, I'm trying to follow, I'm trying to follow your genius here, brother. Um, to let everybody know, you know, but show this out again, Phoenix SEO Company. Now, the reason that I kind of chose that is, well, I live in Phoenix, we do some SEO stuff, and now what I did was I did Phoenix SEO Company, 1000 Global, 390 Local, I just wanted to see how hard is it going to be for that specific thing, 16, almost 1650, um, this says 1.8 million Regular, let's do an exact match here. We got 310,000 Phoenix. We got hires. We've got some people on there. Top rank. No videos. I made a PowerPoint video. It has no audio. It has no music. Uploaded. Your video is available here. There you go. There's the video. There's no audio. They want to fix my lighting. But as you can see, it's a simple it's actually 10 PowerPoint slides. I think I used two of them and just repeated one of them 10 times. There's what you're gonna see. July 11th, right there is the upload. Again, just so you know, come over, time and date, 1036. Now I'm gonna go and I'm going to use your little trick, then I will shoot another video. So we'll talk soon, guys. Thanks very much. I wanna do a follow-up 
video of the little case study I pulled when you uh, let me use URL shotgun and see what I could do with it. Filmed a video July 11th. It is um, today. It is Wednesday, July 17th. So it's been about five, five days, six days. Um, it was late on July 11th when I put up the video. But I wanted to come over, go into private browsing so everybody could see what um, what actually happens when I log, uh, don't log in, but when I go and search for Phoenix SEO Company. But as you can see, the very short, less than a minute, no audio, no uh, video movements, uh, two different frames for uh, a PowerPoint, and that is all it was. And page one, nothing. Page two, also nothing and page three basically I I think even all the way up to uh, the first 10 pages uh, this is 2.5 million results um, and I'm not there so I wanted to come over to videos and see and look at that fourth video I know when people are like oh you know that's cute but what I did was I had also targeted Arizona SEO consultants. So we'll go back to search and do Arizona SEO consultant. I believe I put an S on there, but hey, let's see. But look, consultant, consultants, doesn't matter. First page. Put an S on there. Look at that. First page. But again, this video is 15 views. But you see the video is playing. It has ads. There's no audio. I'm not muted. As you can see, there's unmuted. There's nothing here. It's begging for audio. Bam. Basic. To the point. There's the phone numbers, there's some stats, seven, two minutes, boom, easy enough, slowly gaining over time, but I just wanted to let you know, dude, that is incredible. This little piece of software, no backlinking, no connection to my website, no connection to my company, um, I did exactly what you did, which was... Uh, load in the links let it do its little voodoo took those links tags went over to Fiverr had a guy backlink them and boom I was absolutely done um, and I have done nothing else I haven't written any articles I haven't done anything now this and this is great if I if I can do this in a couple of days for SEO a uh, company here in Phoenix I mean for offline it would just be an incredible opportunity to make some money because that little video, I mean, just having that up, if I could, um, or if I did, took that video, made a couple of more, changed out some words, targeted some other keywords with some videos, and uh, put up a couple of other little things, you know, and, and you know, without the music, I can even go in and use the, um, the music in the uh, YouTube editor that would you know, jazz it up a little bit more, add some more, and drive some views to it. I could I could link this out to my profile over at um, Facebook, which I'm going to do after I get done with this video, and just show, you know, people that this is such an incredible, awesome, awesome piece of software. And again, you know, I got a preview copy of it, and I'm so glad that I did because um, you guys are in trouble, man guys are in trouble 208 links that's all it was 208 links um, were created by this software and this is what I get from it so listen I'll talk to you guys later thank you Anthony so much and thank your team awesome stuff uh, URL shotgun uh, goes on sale eh, eh, very soon or it may already be for sale um, just wanted to uh, show you guys even a, a 
crappy video or crappy picture with a phone number is outranking people who have sat here for probably a year or more trying to rank on, um, on Google. And we did it in five days with barely anything. So thank you, Anthony, URL Shotgun, guys. Go grab it. I'll talk to you soon.